fear that the clip I'm about to show you might be the start of an insidious creep towards the normalizing of sexual contact with children. Have a listen. If I met Gabrielle when she was 15, thank you. If I was not legal. Right. If I, if I was 25 and I met Gabrielle when she was 15, she would be my wife still. And I would have no fucking shame in that. People would be all, you groomed her. I'd be like, yeah, cool. <laughs> Great guy, never met him. Yo, and this this is the thing I, I think is funny about Brendan and all those guys. They always talk about fucking social media haters and stuff and whatnot. And people coming after them and comments and whatnot. And something I feel like they never really acknowledge or they never fucking admit to is the fact that they are surrounded by some very questionable people. They are surrounded by people who are very suspect, very questionable in their lifestyle choices, in what they say, in how they maneuver, in how they act. So it's no surprise that if you're surrounded by those type of people who are your friends, whether it's rape allegations, diddling allegations, grooming allegations, it's no surprise that you're also going to get an unmitigating level of hate also in some of your comments maybe more than other people are getting because you're you know you're you know kind of sometimes judged by the company that you keep and they don't really ever understand that part of things they just sometimes think oh you can be friends with who you want to be friends with but you shouldn't judge me based on their actions it's like yeah but we kind of have to in it you kind of being their friend feels like you're endorsing their behaviors by being their friend and riding for them so much especially brendan is just your fire guy because he gave him the fucking oh you are the what is it thick boy um fucking presenter of the year bullshit award he gave him which is fucking incredible so clearly he kind of rides for him in that respect but let's see the video anyway just on fire um going fucking crazy at brian campbell from um what's it called from morning combat and also, in part, going back crazy on the fucking fire and the kids suffered it, guys. He's actually going and having a little unhinged segment here, which kind of felt a little bit unprovoked. Brian Campbell does his little thing in his own space. Um, it's not something he kind of, you know, it's whatever. It's kind of like a running joke on his side of things. Brendan essentially ignores it or pretends it does, doesn't exist. So the fact that Jesse on Fire is talking about it, he's sort of bringing more attention to something that Brendan actively tries to ignore. That's the funny thing about it. Like, he's not actually realizing that he's actually not helping Brendan in what he's doing here. He thinks he is. He thinks he's trying to basically back up his boy or protect his meal ticket. But he's actually hurting him more than he's helping him. Really, if you think about it. Let's play the video anyway. This is Jesse on fire going at Brian Campbell and everybody else. Of uh, his co-host, whatever his name is, over and over and over referencing that he is one of these like Brendan Schaub hater group guys. Let me just play a little bit of this for you. Schaub and East has become our uh, part of our lives. Everyone, it's just it, what it's what it is, Luke. Okay. I mean, that's Sorry. partly true. Who gets this obsessed with making fun of a person that they don't know? I don't understand it, dude. I've never understood this phenomenon ever. Let's. I just want to show you like how much this guy does this. But someone, I don't know somebody said, someone must have made fun of you, Jesse on fire. You objectively look like you're easy to make fun of. If you've always had those kind of fucking, you know, um, 10,000 yard stare eyes on you, if you've always had that sort of head shape, if you've always had that kind of no neck kind of posture, if you've always looked a kind of bit ratty, then most likely you probably got made fun of as well when you were growing up. You just look like you would be made fun of quite easily. So it's surprising that he doesn't understand why some people get made fun of on the internet if you look a certain way if you say dumb and stupid things people will make fun of you on the internet it just is what it is and if you're jesse on fire and you have that sort of hairline and you have that sort of nose right and you have those sort of no lips those no show no lips going on then most likely you're going to get made fun of also i think so personally Maybe you did retaliate and you kind of went a bit crazy. You were like a fucking chihuahua grah, going at people's fucking ankles and they made fun of you in school, but they probably still made fun of you. I'm probably sure they still did. So him not realizing why people get made fun of is fucking hilarious. Comments at all. But did you see there was a I comment mean, I on... See, I see every time... You're always texting me like, how's socials? I'm like, dude, I don't really tweet stuff out. I've never texted you that. They should improve their relationship with former heavyweight Brendan Schaub too. A lot of back and forth, Luke. I don't like it. All right, what are we doing here? Um... 
<laughs> yeah. Could... That's a good picture. Come on. That's a really good picture. <laughs> wait look, he's be- look how angry he is. Look at how disgusted and angry. Like, I don't understand boys or men in general who cuck for other men like this that they've only known in their adult age. Like, I don't understand this. I don't even go for bat for people like this that I've known at work for a long time. Like men in media or in content creation who go so hard for other men they've just met in the last five or so years, maybe less, is incredibly redacted to me. It makes it maybe shows like a level of like immaturity or a lack of actual real friends that you actually decide to go so hard for people that you only know because you make content and because you're somewhat useful to them. Because get make no mistake, Brendan's only Brendan's only friends with this fucking, you know this i don't know this fucking <laughs> brendan's only brendan's only face brendan's only friends with this guy right no you know what he is yeah brendan's only friends with fucking evil uriah faber because he goes hard in the paint defending him that's the only reason why he's friends with fucking evil uriah faber if they weren't if he wasn't so active in fucking clapping back at the fans who kind of go at Brendan and showing how angry he is at the trolls and shit, Brendan would be friends with. So it's only a friends, if only a friendship of convenience. Brendan knows he could always get something from this guy because of how hard he's going to defend him really in that respect. But he doesn't get it. He actually thinks they're pals. They're not, in my opinion, anyway. I'm here, huh? I mean, are you getting lip injections, Luke, like some comedians these days? Again, one, once no, again, right? you're Brendan Schaub's number one fan. Dude, agree. No, it's I. I love Brendan Schaub. I'm just simply pointing out, like this. Janae. Luke no, you Thomas don't. never Definitely. partakes in this. By the way, that I can tell, it's all his co-host. Oh, let me finish reading here. Uh, turnover page for more instructions. Uh, oh, will you stop? <laughs> I mean, just stop. Your podcast, really after okay? Who are you gonna see? I forgot the fella's name. I like a real. He's like a real comic, though. Okay, you might. You'd be surprised, bro. I mean, seriously. <laughs> okay, so that's fifty-four seconds. This goes on for another three minutes. Uh- he's attacking him. He's attacking him. <laughs> he's attacking him. He's attacking him. Look at this guy. Look at how angry he's getting at another guy just getting insulted on the internet, bro. Like, relax. It's not that serious. It's just jokes. It's just some LOL. It's just some banter. It's just some ha ha he he's. Like, relax, brother. Honestly, relax. Do you, pro- you think he probably chokes himself with a chain while he's jacking off? That little thick boy chain. Do you probably, you think he probably does that whole fucking asphyxiation thing as he's fucking whacking off in his studio thinking about Brendan? <laughs> of just, you know, his co host just ripping shot. Like, this is the whole thing, dude. I'm buddies with shot, but that's, it's not even relevant. It's like, dude. Okay. See you later, Jared, brother. Take care. When I was in high school, there were always like these like rando people who ended up being like the butt of every joke. Like every, it was like they were at the absolute bottom of the social hierarchy. He's talking about himself, by the way. He's talking about himself. He's talking about himself. Anybody, I'm sorry, but anybody who makes an illustration of themselves for looking like this, in my opinion, here's, here's what I've got to say for this, right? This is a really uncommercial opinion. If you're the type of person who changes the skin tone color of your fucking emojis on your phone keypad, you're fucking redacted. And you're probably the same person who, when you make a little bit emoji of yourself, you give yourself bigger eyes, nice and plump lips, you give yourself fucking cheekbones, a nice jawline. You add all these little extras in which that you'd hope to look like. That's what he does. So if this Just Your Fire guy has this fucking avatar animation shit where he looks like this, that's why you know in high school he definitely got bullied because that's what he actually looks like. Because if you saw that animation or that illustration, that cartoon, you would never think that was Just Your Fire's fucking logo. You'd think, oh, that's just some like supplement. That's some like um, bodybuilder influence on fucking YouTube, right? That's some fucking personal trainer on Instagram. You would never in a million years, if you didn't see the fucking logo on the bottom, you would never in a million years guess that that illustration is meant to be illustrative of this fucking mongoloid on the fucking right here. You never think evil Uriah Faber is this looking guy ever in a million years, ever. Who would think that? Come on. That's how I know he's talking for personal experience. That's how I know he was a guy that got bullied. 
Because only guys that got bullied in high school will be sitting there getting offended that some other guy that you just met two years ago is getting made fun of on the internet. Casual jokes here and there. That's the only way you, you'd, be, you'd be annoyed by it. Because it kind of reminding you of your fucking own, you know, horrible experience in school and shit. Again, my own opinion, what do I know? Where everyone could bully them, right? Like anyone had license to steal on this guy. Oh, you know what I mean? Like there was... There was a guy in my high school, there's a guy in my middle school, just like that, a couple of them. I, what do you do? Did you make YouTube videos for them too? I never partook in that stuff, dude. Never. I Congratulations. always go out of my way to be nice to them to the point that it actually became a problem because they'd be like, oh my God, and they'd want to hang out all the time. I'm like, dude, relax, man. I'm just. So then what do you end up doing? You ended up taking the piss out of the same. So, so, so what you're saying is the people in school who are made fun of were actually kind of annoying anyway. In the end, is that what you're basically saying? So you're basically proving everybody's point correct, right? Maybe if somebody's getting made fun of on the internet, maybe there's a reason why they're getting made fun of. Maybe it's somewhat justifiable. Maybe not to the ex fullest extent, but there might be some reason why they're getting made fun of. That's what you're basically saying here. Cool, cool, cool. I just want you to know I'm not, I'm not on board with this shit. When I was Look at him, he's crossing his arms. He's not happy. I'm not on board with this shit. This shit is really sad. Mm. Crossing his arms. Come on, man. Grow up. It's not that serious. And also, this isn't going to help you get on the next Calabasas fight companion. This is so fucking cringe. Oh, you know what? Most likely, if you see this guy on a Calabasas fight companion, you know why. Because of this little audition. Don't take a piss out of my Brendan. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, man. Grow up. I was in a fraternity. I never haze pledges ever. Never. Not once, dude. I never partook in it ever. Not one time. I don't get down with that shit. I don't want to fuck with inferior opposition what <laughs> what's he even talking about what hold on i'm confused about this not once x man i'm just i just want you to know i'm not i'm not on board with this shit when i was in a fraternity i never hazed pledges ever oh hazing okay so you never took part in hey you never took part in hazing when he's in the when he's in a fraternity when he's in a fraternity okay cool congratulations bro how old is this person why are you talking about high school why are you talking about fraternities why how old are you? Isn't he like 50 or something? His name is Jesse Forbes. Is that his name? No way. He's 38. This guy's 38 years old. No fucking way. Yo. He looks fucking. What is that? Why does he look like that for? Is that Addies? Is that too much creatine? He looks 50. He looks like Joe Rogan's age. This guy's 38 years old. No fucking way. Is this him? This is him, right? Jesse Lee Forbes. Oh my God. Is that him? Or is it not him? Maybe it's not him. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. Yo, this guy's 38 years old. 38 fucking years old. But still, it doesn't matter. 38 years old talking about high school. I'm sorry. You are fucking redacted. If he is 38, I don't believe he's 38. I think a lot of, to be fair, you know what, what I have to say, a little rant. White people, especially in Hollywood, entertainment industry, you guys lie just as much as we do. Just as much as the blacks and the browns who play professional sports, we love a good lie. We love to kind of roll our years back five years so we can get into teams and pretend like we're this young phenom when we're actually 55 or whatever. Cool. But I think white people lie just as much because the other day I saw somebody say that Margot Ruby is 31 years old. Do you fucking believe that? She's a fucking hottie, clearly, right? But someone told me that Margot Ruby is fucking 31 years old. F fuck off. She's not 33. Even not even 33. I don't believe that in the slightest. Sorry. White people lie about their ages just as much as black people do. She is not fucking 33 years old. I don't care what anybody says. She's a fucking dimey dime of the dimest. But this woman is not 33 years old. I do not care what you say. Definitely not 33. She looks better than Jesse on fire. Don't get me wrong. But she's not 33. I don't believe this. No fucking way. We all lie about our ages. Let's continue. Never. Not once, dude. I never partook in it ever. Not one time. I don't get down with that shit. I don't want to fuck with inferior opposition what so what is he bragging about here he's bragging that he never took part in hazing because this is weird weird sort of like brag i didn't partake in hazing 
because the people that were getting haze were inferior. Is that what he's trying to say? That's not really a good thing, is it really? Because you're now saying, no, I, I don't understand this. So let's go back again. One minute. One minute. I'm with that shit. I don't want to fuck with inferior opposition. I don't <laughs> what? <laughs> How is that a good thing? If anything, the people hazing are actually treating the people with respect because if you're getting hazed because you sort of like, you're worthy of something, right? You probably see something in you or they want you to be a part of their group, whatever the reason why they're doing it. That's actually way more respectful in a way. If you're kind of looking at it from a very, very far out point of view, you could say some respect. There's probably more kind of respect being placed on the person that's hazy as opposed to the person not doing it. Especially if you're sat there saying, I'm not going to fuck with somebody if they're inferior. Huh? I don't understand it. To me, it just looks like pussy shit. You know? You want... Oh, he called us pussies. <laughs> conflict with me send me someone who is an is a worthy adversary <laughs> this nigga's talking like he's on set of fucking gladiator look what's wrong with these fucking guys man why do they think they're in the fucking coliseum you're recording a fucking video online via a webcam like i am sitting in your fucking room somewhere of your house chatting shit but you think you're fucking slaying dragons like fucking do something go jump out of a fucking window or something get a fucking life splash your face with fucking cold water have a fucking glass of water or something please go on a run get some fresh air these guys literally take themselves way too seriously like what bro you're not a gladiator I, I promise you you're not you're just a guy that makes videos like everyone else does it's not that it's not that deep People make fun of you. It is what it is. Make fun of them back a little bit or keep it. If he comes out and says he's, he's only on multivitamins and all he does is creatine, I'm going to fucking laugh. I'm going to fucking laugh until I fucking faint. If he does that Sam Tripley thing, I'm only, I'm only on multivitamins. All right, cool, bro. And all this shit looks like to me, I've said this a million times, is like, like, like you're telling me that this dude, you're telling me that this dude, not him, you're telling me that, um, but I'm, um, you know, looking forward to that. You're telling me, I don't even know what that. What does that mean? For safety purposes. You're telling me this guy was was like, you know. Oh, you know, I love that. Look back, look back there. Look at the, look at the video and his recommendations. So, Jesse on Fire actually does watch a lot of fucking um hater videos because look at the video that came up with his recommendations. The next video. You're telling me look, that. Look, look, look. Um, but I'm, um, you know, looking forward to that. You're telling um, me that looks like a hater video, no? That looks like a two days to try video. Yeah, see. So he does watch a lot of hater content. That looks like a Too Lazy to Try video, doesn't it? That's like a the Fire and the Kid something Reddit. That's a Too Lazy to Try video. So here he is ragging on people who make fun of Brendan, yet he's watching videos of people who make fun of Brendan on a daily basis. Come on, Jesse on Fire. Get your fucking facts straight, please, son. Look at that little video there. We see you. We know what you're watching, brother. We know. I don't even know what that... What does that mean? For safety purposes. You're telling me this guy was was like, you know... Mr. Cool, like he was always like, he's always top of the food chain socially, you know, growing up, you know, whatever. Because all this looks like to me is this anonymous, you know. How does that make any sense? So you're saying the people that are in school that were not the coolest and got bullied by people like Jesse on Fire or Brendan Schaub have now decided in their adult age to sit online and make fun of people like that to get back at them. Or could it just be that people, when they see you say and do things online especially if it's redacted especially if you're thin-skinned especially if you're not self-aware especially if you not can't take criticism especially if they can see it gets to you will start trolling you isn't that what happens usually if you want to troll somebody and you see that they buy every time you do troll it makes it fun because guess what trolling is fun i know some people they don't like to hear it but some people do find some enjoyment out of trolling people and getting them to react and getting them to break down and getting them to cry. Look at Wings of Redemption. Look at DSP. It's a fucking occurrence. It's a fucking sport for some people out there. They fucking love it. I fucking love watching the content personally of it. I don't go out there and do it to them personally, but it can easily rile them. So this idea that somehow all of these high school people were holding onto these grudges all these years and then waiting until later on in their life to make fun of these guys is ridiculous because again, what it does is that it paints these guys as the most important people in the world. You're not that important. People just saw your content online, thought you was redacted, and thought, you know what? I'm going to point and laugh at this person. That's all it is, really. It's never that deep. But for them, it's like, oh, it's these grudges from school, and they didn't really, they weren't cool, they weren't this. It's like, all right, cool. Whatever makes you sleep at night. Bully crew. That's all it looks like to me.
is like we're going to jump on this guy any chance we get I, it's like imagine being a 38 39 50 year old man however old jesse on fire is and crying about fucking bullying on a live stream imagine that i'd rather go outside and touch grass than then kind of get on stream and admit that anybody's bullying me maybe i have too much pride maybe i have too much ego right but if i'm a grown-ass fucking man and i can turn off the fucking internet and i don't require to make content on the internet as my job and shit and i can go back to my regular life with my regular people and hang out and shit i'm never gonna get on stream and, and admit that people are bullying me even if they were fucking bullying me even if it was my fucking job i'd never fucking do it that sounds like the worst thing possible because you guess what happens guess what happens when you sit online and you admit that people are bullying you more people fucking bully you that's basically what ends up happening it's absolutely redacted to do so you probably should admit it even if it is hurting your feeling even if it is not nice even if it hurts you more than you'd ever know right if you're going to hurt me brother you hurt me you don't ever admit it because once you admit it they just won't stop and listen dude fucking with people is kind of funny but to be <laughs> you see what is wrong with this guy is he fucking schizophrenic one moment he's saying bullying is bad and the next moment he's saying me is like we're going to jump on this guy any chance we get I, it's like and listen dude fucking with people is kind of funny <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this guy one minute bullying is bad one million trolling is evil one minute these guys are lame and the next minute fucking people is funny make your fucking mind up but honestly these eyes do not lie those eyes do not lie these eyes do not lie we know wagwan but to be this heavy on it, it's like who the fuck dude you're a fucking nerd bro okay Let i'm not just... gonna i'm not gonna lie you're more of a nerd for hanging that chain up on your fucking studio wall you're more of a nerd of having this made for you to kind of you know portray what you ideally would want to look like there's more nerd in this entire square than the entirety of the fucking content that lives on the Friday Kids subreddit or from what BC has said. This whole fucking rectangle of content is fucking nerd alert on fucking one million. This, all of this stuff is nerd alert on one million. That's the funny part about it. Break this to you. You making fun of him? Dude, you're not in a cool, you're not like in the cool crew now because you're making memes about a dude who would No, we kind of are in the cool crew because we can laugh at people and have a bit of fun ha ha he he and then go about our merry lives you're the guys who are constantly online crying about this thinking about this talking about this over fucking chats and shit getting on stream telling me gonna defend all this stuff you're doing is the opposite opposite the complete opposite of fucking cool actually if you think about it beat the fucking shit out of you in one second you're a fucking nerd dude Look at your fucking background. As Ben Nip said, look at it. Look at this. Look at it. Okay. You're not cool. You're not on the bully team. <laughs> the bully team. <laughs> if, I, if I'm not on the bully team, I definitely don't want to be on the Jesse on Fire team. Definitely don't want to be a Jesse on Fire team. Please. Please. Okay. No. The guys who could really bully people don't. Yeah, they do. What are you talking about? They, they bully people all the time. Be bullying has never fucking gone out of style or gone out of vogue. It's probably worse than it's ever been now, especially with social media and shit. This guy is on... Sp I don't know what he's talking about. Okay. You guys who can really bully people, don't do it. They don't do it. Because why? Why would they have to do that? What the fuck do I... What do I get out of bullying someone that a bunch of other people are bullying? What do I get out of that? You think I need that to feel like I'm fucking tough? I, like, I don't, dude. I don't. I'll bully you. Hey! Say it again. I, like, I don't, dude. I don't. I'll bully you. Ooh. <laughs> real, real tough guy shit, bro. Real tough guy shit. What's the opposite of a Karen? What's the male version of a Karen? Is it Ken? Is it Ken? It's Ken, right? It's giving real Ken vibes here. <laughs> Ken, Kevin, right? I'll bully you. Tough. I, like, I don't, dude. I'll I don't. Bully you. I'll bully you. <laughs> his legs will be swinging and he's in the chair. His legs swinging back and forth as he's saying that, right? <laughs> I'll bully you. Mm. 
because you look like a chubby fucking sorry ass. Okay. This is being mean for no fucking reason. Uh huh. Has Shab ever said anything about you? Does he even fucking know who you are? I mean, I'm sure he knows who you are. Hey, redacted. But like, he's never done a single fucking thing to you. Nothing. He's never said a word about you. Not one word. And you think about him that much, you're fucking bringing it like, oh my God, look at this Shab mean. Bah, 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 bah. You look fucking pathetic to me, dude. Fucking hell. He wants to fight, isn't it? He wants to fight BC. <laughs> I can't wait for BC to see this and what he does next. He really wants to fight him. He really wants to fucking fight BC. This is fucking hilarious. Why don't you pick on me, dude? Oh. I'd be a good adversary. Why don't, why don't you pick on me? You look fucking pathetic to me, dude. Adversary. Why don't you pick on me, dude? I'd be a good adversary. Why don't you try that shit with me, motherfucker? I'll make you my hobby. I'll fuck your mouth every single... Oh, hey, pause. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. It's just banter, bro. Hey, yo. Fucking people's mouths and shit. Hey, yo. Bro, chill, chill. It's a prank. Chill. Bro, chill. Chill, chill. Chill, man. I don't, I don't even know you like that yet, man. I don't even know you like that, bro. Let's hang out first. Chill. Shoot the shit. Throw some darts and shit. Play some fucking pool before you start fucking f throwing your fucking little winky in my fucking mouth. Relax, bro. Take it easy. Yo, yo. I don't even know you like that, bro. Relax. God damn. Does Brendan endorse this type of message? God damn. He wants to Facebook BC for making fun of Brendan on his show. Little bits of memes here and there. LOLs here and there. Yo. Pathetic to me, dude. Why don't you pick on me, dude? I'd be a good adversary. Why don't you try that shit with me, motherfucker? I'll make you my hobby. I'll fuck your mouth every single day on you. <laughs> Big up, son. Let me take. Five feet, two inches. Jesse gonna bully six feet, four inches. BC, really? Exactly. It's fucking redacted. Big up, Salami Tech. Appreciate you. It's fucking redacted. It's absolutely stupid. Look at his face. Look how angry he is. This is what I don't understand. These guys wouldn't even get this angry if somebody insulted their wife or their children. But you dare insult their content creation meal ticket, their link to Joe Rogan, their link to the LA comedy scene, their link to the UFC or something, they're going to fucking go crazy. But you probably wouldn't see him go this nuts if you insult his wife online, if you took the piss out of his kid if he's got one. He probably wouldn't go this nuts. But take the piss out of some random guy he met five years ago. <laughs> Why do you come and bully me? Why do you come and attack me? I'll face fuck you. I'll fuck you in the ass. <laughs> Show you who's boss. It's like, whoa, 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 You know, look, I could be a much more worthy adversary, dude. I don't have a million people coming at me. You come at me. I'll just, we can just, we, we. You come at me. I don't know, bro. You got to relax with the cums. You got to relax with the cums. You come at me. I want to fuck your face. Like, you got to relax with the, it's just too much. There's too much going on here. I don't know what's happening here. Don't have many episodes. Fuck your Let's mouth go again. One more every time. single day, on it, <laughs> motherfucker. I'll make you my hobby. I'll fuck your mouth every single day on here, dude. Fucker. I'll make you my hobby. I'll fuck your mouth every single day on here, dude. Fucker. It means it I'll is. make you my hobby. I'll fuck your mouth every single day on here, dude. <laughs> Look at that face. He fucking means it. Every fucking day. Ask my wife. <laughs> ask my gym partners <laughs> ask my sparring partners ask them I'll fuck your mouth every single day dude okay I'll fuck your mouth every single day dude like god almighty he sounds like one of those kids on like a Call of Duty lobby you know like I'll fuck your mouth I'll fuck you in your ass man fuck you man fuck you <laughs> that's what he sounds like those Call of Duty lobby guys right Fuck you, you fucking fuck, man. Hope your mama dies, y'all. Yeah, fuck you. I'm going to shoot you in the face, man. I'll shoot your mama in the cunt. It's like, shut up. Stop talking so loud. You're in your mom's house, right? Open the windows. You know, look, I could be a much more worthy adversary, dude. I don't have a million people coming at me. You come at me. I'll just, we can just, we, we can do this. Make <laughs> anyway, that was it. <laughs> Jesse on fire is on fire. Jesse on fire is on fire. Jesse on fire on fire. Oh my god. Uh who's this guy? Who's this? Um 
Strickland's burner says, is this black guy supposed to be tough if Jesse isn't this guy? Ah, okay, cool. I'm not, I'm not pretending to be tough. That's the thing. I don't ever to pretend to be tough. I actually think, you know, there's more strength in actual restraint and there's more fucking strength in actually pretending that you're not tough than actually be getting on camera and fucking shouting and barking about fucking strangers that you don't know like that on camera. But again, what do I know? I just think it's quite redacted that this guy, being a grown up that he is, is going so hard in the paint for fucking Brendan. That's it. And it's really funny watching him do so. That's the only reason why I'm mentioning it on my side of things. I don't think I'm tough. I don't think I'm a gladiator. I don't think I'm slaying dragons. I don't think that every day that I'm fucking out here, that I'm some sort of fucking, you know, Roman fucking soldier or some shit. I don't. I'm just a regular schmegular guy making regular schmegular streams. But if this guy wants to go on the internet and say what he said and do what he says, I'm going to laugh at it. I'm sorry. I'm going to laugh at it. Doesn't mean I think I'm tough. It just means I think he's a redact. That's it. But that's it. Um, what are you guys saying here on the chat? Nothing worse than an angry dog. Exactly. Acting tough on the internet is corny. Exactly. Um, but yeah, man. I don't know. Hey, you know what? Maybe maybe he is tough. Maybe he is saying dragons. Maybe I got it wrong. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that is the case. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But either way, I think it's fucking redacted. And I can't wait to hear what BC has to say once he finds out that that guy said what he said. It's going to be fucking awesome. I can't fucking wait. I really, really can't.